Lesson number nine, Internet Services, Part One. This session includes explanation and then exercise at the end of the explanation. Millions of computers are connected to each other across the world by internet. Internet provides a huge resource of information. An online resource is the material you find online. It can be online newspapers, magazines, ebooks, e-dictionaries or even encyclopedias to name a few. Let's talk about the history of internet. On October 4, 1957, the Soviet Union launched the first man-made satellite into space and they called it Sputnik. As it was the world's first ever artificial object to float into space, it was a cause of worry for Americans. Americans feared that the Soviets would spy on them and that nuclear attack on its soil was possible. As a result, in the year 1969, a research project called ARPANET or Advanced Research Projects Agency was designed. ARPANET was designed by the US Department of Defense. ARPANET was designed to experiment with connecting computers placed at different locations. ARPANET made the protocols or the rules that are used on the internet today. Initially, the information through ARPANET was shared between government and military users only. But in 1973, engineers tried to connect ARPANET to the PRNET, which is a packet radio network that connects computers through radio transmitters and receivers. They succeeded in transmitting data across radio waves instead of phone lines and thus ARPANET provided the basis of the internet. Gradually, the Department of Defense allowed university students and computer scientists to join the network for sharing resources. Today, the internet connects computers, satellites, handle devices and other gadgets together in a massive network that is millions of times more complex than the original ARPANET. Here's the fact. The ARPANET project was directed by Robert Taylor and managed by Lawrence G. Roberts. But sadly, ARPANET was finally decommissioned in 1990, which means it was withdrawn or removed from service in the year 1990. Let's talk about the users of internet. First, we can search all kinds of updated and latest information from the internet. Second, we can send and receive messages through email in just a few seconds. Third, we can shop online. Shopping, you know, is something all of us like doing. And most of us, if not all, have done online shopping, especially in the year gone by. That is 2020, haven't we? Fourth, we can chat with friends and relatives across the world using internet. Fifth, we can share our views over the internet. Now, let's talk about the types of internet connection. You see, there are different ways to provide internet connections. The type of internet connection depends on ISPs 
or internet service providers. Some common types of internet connections are Type 1 Dial-up connection Telephone lines are used to connect to internet in this case. It's generally considered as the slowest type of connection. In this type of connection, landline phone and internet cannot be used at the same time. Type 2 DSL or Digital Subscriber Line this is a broadband connection faster than dial-up. The phone line is not tied up, which means landline phone and internet can be used at the same time. Type 3 Cable Connection Internet connection in this case is provided through cable TV lines. It uses coaxial cables, which is a special type of cable and gets faster access. It's only available where cable TV is available. Type 4 Wireless Connection This type uses radio frequency instead of phone line or cable TV. It is called Wi-Fi or Wireless Fidelity Service. Public Place provides internet connection through Wi-Fi services. Type 5 Satellite Connection Now this type establishes internet connection via satellite in Earth's orbit. And finally, we have type 6, cellular connection. Internet connection in this case are provided through 3G and 4G services on mobile phones.